Welcome back, Shane Simpson here uh, from Guitar at Work. Welcome back. This is the Rolling Stones, Dead Flowers. Always been one of my favorite Stone songs. Uh, it's got a bit of country in it, a bit of blues in it. It's uh, it's really cool. I love the song. The coolest thing is only three chords. So I put this in a beginner category, and um, I'm gonna do uh, just just very quickly talk about the chords in there, very very quickly, and a strumming pattern. Throw a strumming pattern, at you, but we'll go right into a play along. Okay, I'm getting a lot of great feedback on the play alongs. Thank you for that. They seem to be helping people. My fear is that we're all playing alone right now and uh, not getting together with other people to play. It's such an important aspect to give and take playing with other people. So I'll be calling out the chords with the drum machine here and I'll call them out a little bit in advance so you have a, you have a fighting chance of getting there. And um, definitely head to patreon.com slash guitar work. Grab these sheets. I've got two sheets for you that have the chords and the lyrics over top. I'll be referring to those the entire time. I've got them here on my trusty iPad. And uh, the song comes in at 100 and, remind me, 130 beats per minute, and uh, which is quick. It's moving along, but luckily there's only three chords. And the beauty of the play along is you just got to get in there and fight for your life. You're going to miss some chords. Doesn't matter, okay? Stare at your sheet and look, look at the next line. Try to get to the next D on time or something like that. Just practice getting back in. It's all about recovery skills and your ability to go in real time. And what happens, how much time has gone by when you miss a chord? You have to be conscious of that. I missed, oh my goodness, I missed four beats. I missed eight beats. So they're going to come in and you just your instinct builds it doesn't mean you're counting it it just means your instinct's going to build and um we're going to feel these in four beat increments so again welcome back thanks for all your thumbs up that was huge it's, it's huge it's wonderful i really really appreciate the um, uh the comments suggestions all that great stuff a thumbs up have helped me immensely i appreciate it again head to patreon.com slash guitar work grab these sheets and there's a whole bunch of other songs there you can just scoop them up and play along with uh, tons of other videos of mine so go in there scoop them all up and uh, we'll have some fun at it you only need three chords, let's add. This is a D. Garden variety D, nothing strange there. There we go. And you're gonna need an A. Now A, there's so many ways to finger it. I've always liked two, three, and four. I know there's advantages and disadvantages to that and other fingerings. Some people like two, one, and three. Uh, some people like one, two, three, which helps you to get to D. But I've always, I, I knew them all. But they're like, okay, you know what? There's more advantages to me on two, three, four. Not necessarily in this song, but just universally. So I'm gonna do that on the A. Does, if you finger it differently, that's totally fine. Do whatever A you want. And I'm gonna go to this G. That's a four finger G. Which I'll call the rock G as distinct from this guy. You can use that guy as well. It's just a little bit soft. So I like that G, good old hard hitting G there. There we go. Um, now, if you don't know those chords or have you know decent facility changing them, you probably want to stop tape there and just practice going in the order that you see them on the on the sheets. D A G D. Try to get D A G. Make sure you've got some facility changing those ideally down the line you can change them without looking okay because then you can stare at your sheet and you don't have to look here and then wonder where you are when you look back at your sheet so that's a big deal to be able to change okay glance once in a while if things start going awry um, but it's a good idea to be able to change without looking um, so if you're not quite there yet stop tape get in there get the get the speed going we're gonna be going pretty fast again 130 beats a minute uh, the strumming pattern is probably the most popular strumming pattern out there on the planet it is this guy I'm gonna sit on the D you'll see it on the right hand side of your sheet it is down down up up, down, up. Some people call that the folk strum. Down, down, up, up, down, up. So you notice the two ups in a row about midway through there. So again, down, down, up, up, down, up. Now all I can tell you about that pattern, there are two ups in a row in the middle of the pattern. Don't wait here. Don't do this. Down, down, up. I need another upstroke and look where I am. I'm doomed, right? Doomed. So if I do this, down, down, up, go stroke. Shh. And then up, down, up. Okay, let me do that in real time. Down, down, up. Ghost gets me in position. Up, down, up. Again, three, four, going down, down, up, up, down, up. Now, every time you see a chord written on the sheet, you play one pattern. No exceptions in this song. There's no half bars. Uh, every time you see a chord written, you play that pattern. And the chords are written over top of the word they change on within reason you know a singer has that ability to stretch things uh, just make sure uh, that you can kind of feel those four beats go by so if it's not exactly over the word like microscopically that's okay remember singer has that ability to stretch things and uh, and float over the bar line I'll say or blur the bar line uh, whereas we're kind of stuck in there okay so then what's gonna happen next now be conscious why not be conscious a little bit of dynamics okay it might be too much to think about at first but don't always be at full volume start out hey medium volume then you've got room to go up room to go down you're gonna notice especially uh, the chorus things heat up they get louder you'll see the chorus in bold there take me down a little fizzy. 
get louder there. But then in the next verse, drop it down. You're gonna hear it drop 40% on the record, okay? That's called ducking. The singer should never have to fight to get over top of you. That's a really, really big deal. If you wanna be invited back to the jam, don't step on the singer. <laughs> it, okay, so uh, you'll hear it drop. And I'll remind you, I'll just say duck, 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 duck. And let's just leap right in. If you're not, haven't got those chords down, don't be disappointed. Just go get turned. Turn the tape off and get some facility changes and come back for sure. Here we go. And I'm going to leap right in and we're at 130 beats per minute. It's all set up. Uh, the intro, D, A, G, D. I'm going to call out the chords and try to speak the lyrics a little bit. Here it comes. And a one, two, three, D. A, G, D coming. First verse, D coming. A, there, G coming. And your silk, D, pulls through chair, D again. Talking to A, some rich folk, G, that you know, D, D again, I hope you, A, won't see me, here's a G coming, my ragged, D, company, D again, you know, A, I could never, G, be alone, D, chorus, a little louder here, take me down, little Susie, D, take me down, A, I know what you think. The queen, D coming of the underground. Go to G here. Send me the flowers. There's a D coming in the morning. G coming. Send me dead flowers. D coming by the mail. G again. Send me dead flowers. D coming to my wedding. D here again. I won't forget A, put roses, G, on your grave, D, now duck quietly, D, first, A, sit back, that's it, G, in your robes pink, Cadillac, we can hear that singer, D again, making bets, A, on the Kentucky, G, Derby Day, D, D again, me in my A, basement room, G, the needle, D, and spoon, D again, Another girl, A, take my pain, G, way. Bottom of the page, now chorus, louder. Take me down, a little Susie, B, take me down, two D's there. A, I know you think, the queen, D, on the ground, double D. G coming, you can send me dead flowers. Here's a D coming every morning. Send me dead flowers, double D, by the mail. G coming. Send me dead flowers, D coming to my wedding. D again, I won't forget A. Put roses, G on your grave. Here's a D. Page two now, instrumental, D, quiet. Duck, A, that's your lead guitar, G. Guitar solo here, D. D again, nice and quiet. Got to be able to hear that solo, G, D coming, second line of the instrumental, D again, A, G, D, D again, here's an A, here's a G, yeah, last chorus, A, take me down, little Susie, D coming, take me down, A coming, I know you think you're the queen, you're the D on the underground. G, send me dead flowers, you're the double D in the morning. G here, send me dead flowers by the US mail. D, double D. G coming to them, send with dead flowers. D, at my wedding. Stay on that D now. I won't forget A, but roses, G, on your grave, D, last line here, now D, get ready to stop, I won't forget A, to put roses on your G, grave, big flourish on the G, that means dot, 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 look at your drummer and he's going to go, wow, on the D, hey, hey, great stuff. Great stuff. Now, bad things happen to good people when we go right on uh, or in real time like that. I hope you did okay with it. The idea is just go back and do it again, do it again. You'll get better and better and better at it. Uh, again, I'll encourage you to grab these sheets. And I want to send this out. I forgot to send this uh, 
this video out to Rob and Steve, good friends of mine here in Ottawa, Canada. And uh, good friends, miss seeing you guys regularly, but um, I know you're getting together to play guitar, which is fantastic, glad to hear it. And uh, Rob, this has been a staple for us for quite a while, so enjoy. Uh, it's a different chart, watch out. Uh, I'll send it to you. Uh, now, so what was I saying? Oh yeah, thanks for coming back, all that good stuff. Get in there, do that again and again and again, and um, get in there and play along so you, you, learn, you learn recovery skills, you know how this goes. And I wanna thank you again for coming. Thumbs up, me and the world here on YouTube, I really appreciate it. I will very much look forward to the next one, and see you again soon, guys. One, two, down,